An old man, clumsily heading to the school's exit gate. The way he is walking implies that he is lost deep in the imaginary world. Thinking of the board decision led by the new principal, Hermanta Sir, son of the former principal, as well as the owner of the school, to give the remuneration according to the period taught to all the teachers above sixty years. He was the only one in that category a young and dynamic youth who graduated in English at the age of 22 years. He got his first job after receiving his degree at a private school in his own village, Gorka. He married a simple and understanding lady who supported him until his last breath. He also had two sons and was content with achieving what most people consider in life. He changed schools multiple times and finally secured a position at a city school far from his village in Narayanghat. He moved there in his late thirties. The school owner offered him a share to ensure his long-term commitment to the school, but Ramesh declined the offer, as he had done in his previous schools. There was something in his mind that made him see himself as an extraordinary person. He always believed he could make his fortune any time. However, his downfall began when an earthquake struck his village, where he lost his ancestral house, and his field became the dumping site of the remaining debris of the village's houses. He started reconstructing his house with all his savings, but unfortunately, the nationwide blockade hard hit the economy that added up to his plights. Then he decided to shift his family to the city and arrange a rented house offered by his then principal, owner of the school, with a minimum rent. Then the breakout of the coronavirus made it even more difficult for him to recover and stand tall once again. He was suffering from hallucinations also. It took me 10 minutes to reach home a few years back. Now it takes 30 minutes to reach home. Really becoming worse. Oh, you are right? Is everything okay? Nothing much. Hectic schedule. <clears throat> oh, do you know I need cell roti for you? Why you make cell roti instead of making dalwa? Oh, what's wrong with you? You never miss eating cell roti? Actually, I have samosas in school today. That's why. <laughs> oh, and I forget to tell you that. Hari is coming home today. Well, that's great. It's been long he visited us. And please, for God's sake, don't make any issue today. I want to make his favorite dinner today. I don't have any issue with him. I am worried about his stupid brother. For God's sake, oh, please don't make any issue. Please. Okay, okay. I love Darsan Baba. Where is mommy? Oh, I miss homemade food. The hotel of this food are not as tasty as for me. It was earlier, Dad. Oh, mommy, oh, sorry, Darsan. Right. Oh, God bless yes, you. Yes, mom. Oh, my God. You look full of dust, son. Please go and clean yourself first. Oh, yes, mom. The road in this region are so pathetic. Okay. Dad, Mom, did you see my bag? Oh, I forgot my bag. Let me bring my bag before I go to work. Oh, Miss Lily. Dad, I have something in my bag. Take a look.
is good for nothing. What's happening here? Why are you shouting? Please take me out of my house. Who the hell are you to just tell me go out of my house? This house don't belong only to you. If you shout, I can shout louder than you, Dad. Both of you, please be silent. Hey, Bibe, who is this little girl? We'll talk tomorrow about this matter. Let's go. Good morning, boys. Morning, morning Mama. Mama. Please come said. Look, boys. I need to talk to you both. See, your father has been working so hard. He has lots of responsibilities on his shoulder. He has done lots of sacrifices. And he's going through a lot. However, you see his brave face. But I see a lot of struggle going on in his mind. Look, boys, you both are so talented. You have so much potential. So please, both of you, please be with each other. Make yourself happy and your father as well. Please promise me. Please promise me that. Promise you, mom. You will keep we'll, like this. We'll do our best, mom, for the sake of dad. We'll make you proud, mommy. Don't worry. No worries, mom. We'll do our best, mom. No so worries, worries mom. mom. Please don't get worried. We are with you. We will do oh our best. Let's have this coffee, my dear bro. Thank you, brother. So, what's your concern about the mom's suicide? What's your plan? Yeah, I'm thinking about to go to my workplace and ask for funds from my boss. What do you think? Do you think that he will support you? <clears throat> yes, he's very close to me. And guess what? He told me whenever you need a regular help, you can ask me. Okay, then I'll give you some idea. Just convey it to the bus. I hope he will not reject you. Okay, then send me your idea. Okay, then, okay, if your boss won't reject, then just go to him, ask for him once, and if he provided, then we can continue with our plan. Hmm, okay then. After returning, we'll go to the restaurant and I'll inform the Baba. Sure. You are here? Yes, one day you will not find me here as well. No, no way, no way, in fact. Oh, for God's sake, please don't say like this. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, there's some good news to share. What good news? Yeah, do you know your sons, they are going to start a new business. How come suddenly? I don't believe you. Oh, come on. They are going to start a new Montessori school. And uh, they're looking, they're working, they're discussing about it. Really? Then I won't leave alone my son. I will help them with my all savings. So, it's so good to hear you. Hello, Amanda, sir. How are you there? Oh, I need to hello, Ramesa. What brought you here now? Actually, I have some work with you. Work? What kind of work? Yes. Uh, you know my son, right? Mm -hmm. They are starting a set startup for their business. Mm -hmm. So I need your help. Oh, so you could have said this tomorrow also. Uh, why did you just come and share this with me now? <coughs> Actually, I need your help, that's why. By the way, what are your boys planning to do? Actually, they are uh, planning to start a Montessori school. Hemanta, uh, you are well known about my situation. I don't have enough money. That's oh, why I, really? <clears throat> yes, that's why I'm expecting some fun from you. <clears throat> um, well, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you clearly. Wh what were you talking about? I need some money from you, or help from you. 
Oh, Ramesh, I really want to see your son growing, you know, and I really would like to help you, but you know, you, you know my situation, right? So I'm not in the state of funding you right now. But why? I have been working here uh, for a really long time. Don't you think I deserve this support from you? Yes, I'm grateful for your service in this institution, Ramesh, but you need to look at yourself. Don't you think you are old now? and your performance has declined heavily from past few years. Actually, I was thinking of talking to you regarding this. What are you talking about? It's not what I'm talking. It's what those, those people are, dozen of complaints that I receive every day against you. My performance? What? You think so? Uh, Ramesh, look at me. You make it more comfortable for me to this day that it's a perfect time for you to take rest and think about your future. Am I not working hard? Complain about me? Oh, Ramans, I'm still telling you, look at yourself, think about your future. Hello, Tandra, how are you doing? Oh, it's going great. Tell me about your See the pretty things. What's wrong? What I was guessing happened a few few hours ago. Don't feel sad. Tell me the exact problem. What is wrong? Now you are one and only help. Hope Chandu. I lost my job completely today. New boss fired me for my age. Surprisingly, I was hoping to get some some of his regard, help regarding my financial needs. It's very sad to listen from you. I can help you, but the situation of my business is not going well these days, so I'm busy playing with this uh, solitary game, and I'm busy with... You know that uh, my son never tried hard to establish themselves at the right time. Now they are willing to start a business collaborating with me, but I am sort of for up the fun. Please don't ask for money that you start about your son. I always warned you that they are never on a good path. You never listen to me. You used to cherish whenever the, any wrong incident was done by your son. You remember? Your Vivek always beat my son till middle school in the academy. You know that my son never tried hard to study themselves at the right time. Now they are willing to start a venture collaborating with me. But now I am short of the funds. Okay, I'm very sorry to say that I'm also like, my business are not going well, and on top of that, your sons, uh, they never listen to you whenever like you suggested them, and they are, they are not in, good in their stories as well. So I'm very sorry to say that. Don't drop salt on my own now. Though I am happy for the bigger success, I never thought that my carelessness could bring me in this situation. Anyway, thank you for showing your real face, my dear friend. Your, your words are really heavy to handle. Please don't take me wrong. I gave you a chance multiple times, uh, but the situation led me to uh, take this action. I'm very sorry for that. Please forgive me. Darshan God bless you, child. So how is behaving nowadays? It's been a long time I'm not meeting him. He's fine. So, Okay, Baba, just I took the file from the Sam Uncle's home. Uh, see you in the meeting. Okay. Okay, tell Sam to send cup of, two cups of tea. Uh, sure, sure. Okay, Baba. You are so lucky. You have everything that one should have in his life. I don't, I don't where I went. Mom. What's wrong, Mother? What happened? What's wrong with you, Mom?
What? Why did you tell us this before, Mom? Why did you hide from us? Mom, are you okay? I thought I thought I would be able to take care of myself, but it's getting out of the control. Mom. Mom, Mom please. I'll say it now. After the accident, that what it will be. Lakshmi will get the insurance money, and my two sons will finally have the chance to get what they want. What the hell is going on, Dad? The way my boy, I didn't hear you coming. Dad, you are going to kill yourself? Are you out of your mind? No, no, it's not like that. The way it it is best for us. What such a base? What such a settlement, Dad? What about mom? What about us? Vivek, we haven't settled it yet, Dad. Vivek, you don't understand. I am doing for you, for all of us. How? It's not. It's not, Dad. You are just in the dream world thinking yourself as a very famous and a known teacher. But it's not real, Dad. You are just a tired old man chasing after a dream. It's a, just a long journey. No, Vivek, you are wrong. I have made something for myself. I have done for myself. You have made a mess, Dad. You have lied to me, to yourself, to Mom. How can you lie to Mom? I know that you have had an affair with a girl. For your pleasure, for your happiness. What's this, Dad? Bibi, sorry, Mom. Don't talk nonsense. Dad, I have to tell this truth to everyone else. You are not a successful person. Just You are just a very old man who is lying to everyone else. Dad? Bibi, father! Dad, it's over! It's over! Everything you said turned out to be false. You hear me, Ramesh? You hear me? I've always loved you, supported you. But now, I'm left alone. All alone. All alone. Look, Ramesh, can you see? No one came. No one came remembering you. No one came. No one. 